Hi there, this is Professor Monty again. Let's talk about factoring using the trial and error method. So remember to check to make sure that we factor correctly when we FOIL the out, this has to be from the first, this has to be the outside plus the inside, and that has to be from the last. So I know for the first, it has to be 2x times x. That's the only way I'm going to get to 2x squared. These two have to multiply to the 5. So I only have two options since that's prime. It's either a 1 and a 5 or a 5 and a 1. Now, here's the trick to this. The numbers have to, whatever the sign is, add in this case to the 7, negative 7 specifically. But notice if I put the 5 here, 5 times 2 is 10. 1 times 1 is 1. Well, a 10 and a 1 aren't going to add up to a 7. They add up to 11. But if I put the 1 here and the 5 here, I'm going to get a 2 times 1 is 2. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. So it has to be the second one. It has to be a 5 and a 1. Well, signs, they multiply to a positive, so they have to have the same sign. Well, if they add to a negative, they both must be negative. Let's check to verify this works. I know I have the 2x squared. I know I have the plus 5 here. Let's just check the outside plus the inside to get this middle term. If I erase these, I can easily see, oh, that's a negative 5x. That's a minus 2x, which add up to negative 7x, which is exactly what I wanted. So this is the correct factor. Let's try something similar over here. We know they have to add up, multiply to the 3x squared. So I know it has to be 3x times x. And if you'd rather put x times 3x, it doesn't matter. Same idea. Now I don't have a prime number here, I have a 4. So it might be 4 and 1. It might be 1 and 4. I have to try both ways because different things multiply by the 3. Or it could be 2 times 2. Well, let's check. This time, again, that's still plus. So the numbers have to add up to 13. Well, if I put the 1 here, I get a 3 and a 4. That's a 7. They don't add up to 13. That doesn't work. If I put the 4 here, I get a 12, and a 1 here is a 1. 12 and 1 do add up to 13. I know that's the right one. And we'll show the 2 and 2 doesn't work. If I plug 2's in, I'm going to get a 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 1 is 2. Those add up to 8, not to the 13 that I need. So it has to be this 1 and the 4. Again, let's check to make sure that works. Multiply to a positive, so they're both the same sign. This time they add to a positive, they both have to be plus. Well, there's my 3x squared. There's my plus 4, so that works. Let's check the middle. 1x plus 12x, that's 13x. That's my middle term. So again, I've factored correctly. If this last sign is a negative, the two numbers have to subtract to the middle term. That's the only difference. So practice these. The more you do, the better they will get and the quicker you'll get doing them. If you want another method of doing it, I do show a method that I actually prefer to the trial and error method. It's called the illegal move, sometimes also called the slide method. But look up that video. I think it'll help you as well. Some people like this easier. Whatever your preference is, we just need to get these factored in. Okay. Best of luck to you. If you like this video, go ahead and click on like. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, just keep working and you'll get this.